some somebody's giving me somebody's giving me love somebody's giving me somebody ah, 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 ah. good morning good afternoon good evening my illustrious family welcome to the mental house you know my family and i we've been celebrating uh my brother Ricky's birthday was yesterday, and as y'all know, he's not here, uh, and we got through it. We got through it. We enjoyed um, ourselves. We <laughs> did something that he would <laughs> certainly enjoy, and that is uh, dressing up and just being a goofball. Uh, Ricky loved every holiday, and especially Halloween. His birthday was yesterday, and, um, you know, we had a chance to honor him. He's now made his transition, and he is with the elders. So I just want to say rest in power, my brother. I love you, and we'll meet again. We will meet again. Oh, uh, But other than that, let's get to this, because I thought this would be the last time. I would make any comment about this craziness. And now people are telling me that um, Kyrie Irving, I see them trying to throw him inside of this Kanye West madness. Um, a lot of people are mad and angry because they're saying that what Kanye said about them, uh, let's see, how can we say this? The, the, the cues. Um, were, was truthful and that um, I'm protecting them or whatever. This is coming to me now as a, a black woman. Okay, so some of it is just sheer ignorance. And like I said, I'm in love with the whole human family. And all of us have our faults and all of us have our quirks, isms, and schisms. Okay? But what I will not do <laughs> is I will not. I am angry with Kanye for what he said about black people. I, I can't say, and I'm not making any kind of call other than the hurtful things that he said towards the cues. The things and the way he said it was extremely hurtful. And if you're going to have a dialogue with somebody, what you're not going to do, if you want them to be a willing participant, which I know most of them don't want to be. But however, that's not the uh, point. The point is, there's a scripture that say, with love and kindness have I drawn thee. Okay, so you are not going to sit up and think that you're going to have a decent conversation with somebody after you've called them a bunch of names and talk about DEF CON and all this kind that does not this does not mix for the human family it don't mix so what i'm pissed off at kanye about is his disrespect for black people don't get it twisted what he said was disrespectful to black people and if you want to know what he said, it had nothing to do with this last couple of weeks. I've been done with Kanye. Where should I start? Slavery was a choice. Donald Trump is the best thing to happen to America. That's his daddy. White lives matter. Uh, let's see. Uh, did, I, did I say slavery? Harriet Tubman? Oh, Lord. He went on in on my girl, Harriet. Listen. Make America great. It's just too much that he's done to his own people. That is what I am talking about, and that's what I'm concerned about. That is the reason why he's getting flack from a lot of black people as well. Okay? So we're not going to get it twisted. All of it is hurtful. All of it is extremely hurtful. But you tore your ass with me because you're not running to apologize to black people. Okay? 
because you know nobody cares about us. And we've been the laughing stock and the whipping stock of the human family at the bottom of the totem pole ever since this race thing was constructed. Okay? Now, I know that if most people, especially the millennials and those the Gen Xers, I know if they read history, if they even read, they would honor us as the first human beings that God made. Life started in Africa. But because they don't get a clear understanding of what history is, and then because their history is so wicked, you can't fix what you can't fix. They don't even want you to teach it in the schools. But this is my history. So just like those people are saying never again about their history, I'm saying never again about mine. And I don't think it's a hard concept. I don't know why you think I'm going to have more respect for your culture than you have for mine. And every time you get to a jam where you don't care what you say about black people because that's expected. But when somebody says something about the cues, it's a problem. I'm not with that at all. And let it be known. I'm not with that. Kanye tore his ass with me for a whole different reason than with a lot of other people. Okay, so that's it. That's how I feel about it. Now, with that being said, <laughs> I'm not going to talk about this idiot anymore so y'all can stop sending me, um, you know, just controversial comments that have to do with him. Okay? All right. So if you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share, and then I'll see you in the next video.